Hi guys, I'm back again with uh, an update on the um, mangoes here. I had a couple of um, people, um, viewers, ask me, can you please um, get close up on your mangoes? And this is for you. So let's start on this side here. Pretty good um, news, by the way. Most of them are shooting out. New. Um, new growth. This one is just barely doing something and uh, I'll tell you the varieties too. This is the Nam Dok Mai, the Thai mango. I'm gonna try to move quick guys. It's, it's getting cold. It's the end of the day. It's around um, 7.30. I've only got half an hour of light. This one is doing nice. Yeah, check it out. Some nice um, new growth there in the center. And very help all of them, all of them are lush green. <laughs> it's like, wow, please stay like this over winter, please. So this one is the King Tai. Hard to see it there, but you can see it there. It's a dwarf. Okay, next. We have this guy here, not doing much, trying to um, move, but um, looking very healthy. And it's the Valencia Pride. Okay. Next. By the way, I'm not using any filter. This is um, um, raw, unfiltered um, video. And they're really this green. No joke, it's amazing. Next is this one, also steady on growth, not much going on. And it's the King Tai as well. I've got two of them. Hmm. I've got two of them because I really, really want to try these. These are incredible tasting. Okay, it's like um, the big brother of the Nam Dok Mai. This one. Also, not much going on there in the center. The, these need heat, and I'll show you what I mean by heat. This one is the the kit. These are all grafted, by the way, every one of them. Next, this one's a little droopy. Probably the unhappiest looking out of all of them. Not as perky. See the perkiness on this leaf compared to that leaf can you see what I mean see the difference perky not perky okay very subtle and even the shade of green it's a little there's a tinge of yellow running through it and that variety it's green at the bottom though it's lower leaves are green see that compared to that look at the difference See, this one is yellow, this one is green. So it just needs heat and some kind of uh, feed. That's the Koh Savoy. Okay, and then this one here, which is shooting at a, a little bud here on the side. This broke off. This guy broke off when I unboxed it from Dailies a couple of months ago. Broke off, but it's trying to get two new buds out in, in its place. And this variety is Sensation. Sensation. They all have photos too, these labels. Pretty cool. I'm going to end up taking these um, labels off because they're very tight see what they're using here this plastic not good so I'm gonna take them off eventually but they're beautiful labels check it out huh so you know what you're getting if you're lucky enough to be in a warm climate next is the quan the one that had fruit on it and I took them all off I regret not leaving one just for taste yeah, and look what it's doing down here on the bottom, the quan. 
below the, the graft. It's shooting out all these new... It's shooting out a lot of things, even here, up here, look. Right? That's just, um, let's see, yeah, just below the graft. We've got a lot going on. So I, I should remove all these guys, right? And check him out. Look at this. Huh? In early autumn, early fall. Remember, this is um, March in Australia, which is... Um, Oh, let's have a look now. This is uh, September in America, right? This is your September. All you guys there in the States. So in September, as summer wraps up, I'm getting new growth on the, um, the quan, the one that was full of fruit. This had 12 honking fruits on it, and I removed each one of them if you go back and take a look. Next. This guy here, it's not doing much. Sort of, kind of wants to open up. Very healthy, very perky. And that one's the uh, banana can. Never heard of this one. I had to get it. Just, <laughs> just for the name. Just for the name. That's what it looks like. Banana can. Right? And last, guys, this one here, which also has that yellow tinge running through its leaves. So this one and that one are the least healthy looking. And the variety, and even down below, it's worse. See how yellow it is? Oops, nearly fell over. See what's going on down here? So they're getting the same water, same greenhouse, same heat, same everything. As all the rest. This one is uh that doesn't say. This one is uh Nam Dok Mai. Wow, I think we saw him before. I got I got two of them. I didn't know I had two. I thought I had one. Hmm, okay. Well I got two Nam Dok Mai's and two King Tai's. So guys, that's the um the um dailies, mangoes, which I've picked up over the last well, all of them over the last um, five months, except for this. This one is from um, the summer before, the prior summer. So this one I've had for a year and a half, and all the rest, five, uh, between two and five months. They're all the same size, but when you look at the trunks, that's where you'll see the difference. Most of them are like this, right? See that? It's about an inch. Whereas the Quan, the one I've had for a year and a half, is an inch and a bit. Almost two inches. See the difference? In the trunks? That's the difference. That one there is a bit thicker. So the reason I made the video was you asked for it and secondly I'm putting these back into the greenhouse. I don't want them out here in the um, in the cold because at night now the temperatures are dropping down to 10, 11 Celsius, around 50 Fahrenheit. Very cold for baby mangoes and especially um, coconuts, right? Look how healthy it is. Let's see if it stays this green over winter. Last night these were out and the temperature got down to um, 11 in Melbourne but here where I live outside Melbourne the temperature got down to 8 Celsius that's uh, only 40 gee 46 47 yeah it got really low and these were out here in that cold unprotected including the coconut so now they're going and just like that guys presto they're back in the mango house so i cleared one of the um tables here um, um whatever you call that rack to make more room 
pulled out all the uh, the little pots that were for mango seedlings that didn't germinate so that's all over so now we're going to focus on uh, keeping all the mangoes in in here and a coconut and maybe some uh, small guys like this jackfruit that's finally coming back after being dead all summer all, all spring and summer he decided to come come back in autumn crazy so anyway hope you enjoyed this this video the mangoes are watered they got a lot of rain last night we got 30 millimeters of rain oh wow and um i fed them all as well slow release pellets as you can see so that's the video check back over uh, autumn and winter that is the next uh, six months to see how they fare okay guys over and out oh I forgot a tree <laughs> I forgot a mango oh my gosh see you from the next video